Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to hang out in between videos, come check out the Discord. Uh, today we have another match in the First Look tournament. We have G Idol versus Billy. I know a little bit about G Idol. I've heard Tomboy and Nude. And I've seen like, I think some, a few clips here and there on TikTok or something like that. But I know absolutely zero about Billy. I think I've heard the name once or twice, but I couldn't pick out a member or a song from any of their lists for anything really. But we're gonna start off with G Idol's Queen card, which I believe is their most famous of the, the ones that I haven't heard because I've heard Nude and Tomboy. And then we have for Billy, a song called Ginga Minga Yo, I think. I'm not really sure. I probably mispronounced that like crazy, but that's what we got today. So let's go. Round one, fight. All right, we're gonna start off with G Idol's queen card. Previously on, I feel. <laughs> They've got like an episode thing going on? Or is there like a TV show that's running through their MVs? <laughs> Ooh. an interesting kind of like nasally tone Oh, I could see this being like super viral. Looks so cool, looks so such like Kim Kardashian. Looks so cute, looks so pretty like Ariana. Oh, it is a plastic surgery thing. Okay. So is it, is the video like a, a commentary on beauty standards? With the plastic Ooh. surgery stuff? So she left before getting the, yeah. Ah, that's a that's a cool message. Okay, so I was like a little confused going into it, like if they were talking about 
actually using plastic surgery to become someone who feels hot and but it, it's like no she rejects that by the end of it and walks out um and gets affirmation and praise for who she is already as she is before getting the plastic surgery and you know it's it's interesting because of like korean culture like that is very plastic surgery heavy that they are spreading a message of like hey you're already a queen as you are i like that that's a nice message to to go with the song vocally they have an interesting sound. A couple of their members have like a very nasally tone to their their singing, and it's not a bad thing. It's like a very stylistic choice. And the chorus, especially in this one, has that vibe to it. And it just, first, it's so catchy. It's so catchy. I know for a fact that I'm gonna be bopping around the apartment later going, I'm a queen card, I'm a queen card. Yeah, it's just gonna happen. So let's get into the lyrics and maybe get some introduction for member names. Hey, Mini. Yeah. Okay, so it's So Yon uh, that has the really nasally uh, tone. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so Mion does too. Minnie's voice is really nice. Um, I definitely think that the chorus of that song is like the full strong point of it. I love that chorus. Like, oh, that's going to be stuck in my head for a long, long time. I can already tell. All right. Next up, we have Billy with Ginga Minga Yo. What that is, I don't know, but we're going to find out. So let's go. Mystic story. Oh. Till you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Huh. Is this a school? A dance school? Dance academy? No.
This is very, like, cinematic. Are they all, like, kind of going into this dream world esque Narnia style, kinda? Oh, the strange world. Okay. Ooh. She just go up the side. Oh. That's cool. It's an interesting dance dance breakdown. I... what? What? <laughs> Alright, so... The story is they kind of Narnia themselves all into this other land. And they're exploring it? And then they keep seeing, or they keep talking about Billy. I'm, I wonder if Billy, the name of the group has like some lore implications. And then they ask, what are you? And this giant one-eyed rabbit that had these balls that they were all sitting on in earlier in the video, wrapped around its neck. 
and then there was a baseball with love heart eyes that somehow split open and had one of them come out of it. I... Hmm. I'm lost, <laughs> story-wise. But it, it, it was a bouncy song. Like, it just kind of, like, had a fun vibe to it. I don't think it was as catchy as G Idols. But I think it also had a stronger rap breakdown. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Let's, let's get into the lyrics for this one. Yeah, it is confusing. What's Ginga Minga Yo? Okay, Moon Sua. There are two rappers. So I think there's like lore implications to this song because lyrically I don't understand what it's talking about really either. Yeah, I I am left more confused after l reading the lyrics than I was going in. Um, I think it's because a couple of keywords, uh, Billy and Ginga Minga Yo, and don't have any context. So I'm not really sure what the song's about, so to speak. That being said, it seems like there's a lot of lore tied to Billy, which is cool. Like that's a cool concept always, but it does definitely mean that there's usually an order that you have to kind of go in uh, to make sure you're understanding what's going on. It's gonna be a tough one, I think. I think the 
The thing about Billy that makes it hard is that I just don't understand what it's about, and Queen Card had such a strong message to it um, that makes it makes me kind of attached to it. I'll be interested to see what you guys think and see how this match turns out. Uh, but for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.